probably already know, one that we definitely didn't know, and I just kind of chopped them up and then added them together. So I'll just go over that with you. So we did a whip, and we did one, two, three, and we stopped on three and. And this is where we added in the triple <coughs> step. So we did a triple step, and a triple step, and a triple step, and a triple step, okay? Actually, <laughs> it went one, two, three, and four, triple step, triple step, triple step, and we're back to where we started, okay? So it's just taking a basic uh, starter step, triple, and a triple, that's it. And we added it on the back end of a whip, four, triple step, and a triple step. And we also added in a little variations as far as like getting guys some different rhythms. Instead of a triple step, we did and a tap, and a tap, and a tap, and go from here, okay? Or we can also take them, and remember to breathe, we can take that on a, a hold, and a hold, and a hold, depending on what kind of music that we're dancing to. So it kind of gives the guys a little different rhythm breakdown. Okay, the other move that we did was basically off from a free spin, which is one, two, three, and four, five, and six. We just added to keep that, we decided to keep that hand and go one, two, roll over her head. We're going down the slot with her on four, five, and six. Girls are continuing their momentum all the way down, making sure that we're keeping those kind of tight, tight legs instead of looking like a penguin. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three, and four. Five and six, I'll lift this up. One, two, three, and four. Five and six. We also took a left side inside roll. One, two, three, and four. Five and six. One, two, three, and four. Five and six. Some pretty fa fairly easy patterns, and we're just going to smash them together. Going like this. One, two, three, and four. Five and six. On this side. One, two, and four, five, and six. Thank you for the class, I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm.